Oh, that song never gets old. Ready for some quiplash? Me too. I want each of you to give 110%. I got a lot of money on this. <laughs> Round one. You'll get two prompts on your device. Just answer them however you want. Your responses, or quips, will be pitted against someone else's, and everyone will vote on their favorite. You'll score points based on the percentage of people who prefer your answer. Have at it. Hit the safety quit button if you can't think of something. <laughs> Let's start this show. First up, the worst excuse for ditching your date. Okay, everybody pick your favorite. Coming up next, what the fine print on every love coupon says. It's voting time. Next prompt, what a crappy doctor would say every time a patient gets naked. Ready, set, vote! Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles should update their catchphrase from Cowabunga to blank. Get to voting! Next one, the most popular ride at a religious theme park. Okay, vote. Okay, next one. What no one wants to hear immediately after having sex in a barn.
That's it. Let's see the scores for round one. Round two is upon us, and all points are doubled. Take that, round one. Almost out of time. Use the safety quip button if you have to. Let's start this show. First one. The hardest part about having five secret families. Okay, pick your favorite quip now. Next in the hopper, when on the subway, it's polite to give up your seat to blank. Vote away. on deck, what most people don't know about ostriches. And vote. <laughs> Next in line, a terrible name for a toupee company. Put in your votes. <laughs> Up next, a weird thing for a president to announce. I did not have blank with that woman. Vote on your devices. Moving on, why did Jack and Jill go up to Canada? Vote now! <laughs> Round 2 
Round two is no more. Let's see the damage. It's round three, the last lash. I've got one prompt left, and you're all getting it. Here's your word lash task. All right, we're ready. It's round three, so you've got three medals to award. A gold, a silver, and a bronze. Make your picks. Raise yourselves, here come those medals. First, the bronze, silver, and finally gold. Now we transform those medals into points. We're done, let's see the final scores.
Welcome to Quiplash. I'm your host, Schmitty, and I've been told that I'm no longer allowed to accept tips. I hope you're all using your full legal names because this game will affect your credit rating. This is round one. You score based on the percentage of players who like your answer. Plus, there are winner's bonuses at stake. Go! Hurry up! Use a safety quip if you can't think of anything! <laughs> Time for the big reveal! Our first prompt is... A bumper sticker a nudist would have! Okay, select your favorite quip! Moving on, everybody looks cool on a motorcycle, except for blank. Time to vote. Your next prompt is... If a job interviewer asks you what's your biggest weakness, always say blank. It's voting time. Next up, the title of a Goosebumps book that was never published. And vote. And next, a terrible thing to say to the bouncer checking your fake ID. Put in your votes. Next on the list, the best way to escape the inside of a whale. Ready, set, vote!
That's all for round one. Here's the scoreboard. It's round two time, and everything's worth double. Don't let those points go to waste. Let's put up those quips. The first prompt is... What God probably smells like. Okay, pick your favorite and vote. Next in the hopper... When you cough up blood, you should be concerned. When you cough up blank, you should be terrified. Vote away. Next in line, a perfectly good reason to walk around with a raven on your shoulder. Vote on your devices. Next on deck, what Twinkies should be filled with? Get to voting! Your next prompt is... A reenactor at Colonial Williamsburg would get suspended if they said blank. Vote now! Moving on, a disturbing thing to see your kid making out of clay. Okay, vote! That's all for round two. Light up that scoreboard. <laughs> this is round three, the last lash. One final chance to catch up and everyone gets the same prompt this time.
come up with the phrase this acronym stands for. Let's see the responses. Choose who gets a medal now. Okay, let's bring out those medals. Bronze. Here's the silver and gold. Metals are nice, but points are even nicer. So, that's the end. Let's see the final scoreboard.
Welcome, my name's Cookie. Or is that the first lie? No, it's not. I'm Cookie. Six players. Remember, this is only a game, but whoever wins will get a lifetime of honor and glory. Oh, and anyone else who wants to get in can be in the audience. You can play along for your own personal score and vote for your favorite lies. Let's do this. This is round one. You'll get 500 points for everyone you fool. And you'll get a thousand for finding the truth. And you've got a defibrillator. Use it to remove all but one lie and the truth. And just one defibbing per game. Select a category. Okay, here's your first question. New Zealand Prime Minister John Key was forced to issue a strange apology to an Auckland waitress. The waitress revealed that on a visit to a restaurant, the Prime Minister would not stop blank. Now use your device to type a lie that might fool the other players into believing it. If you get stuck for half the points, you can use the help button and get a suggestion. Do it now! button if you can't think of something. Okay, there are your choices. Find the truth and enter it on your device by touching the answer you want. Okay, let's take a look. And the rest of the board goes unselected. All right, pick a category. Celebrity quotes of great importance. 9.43 p.m., the 22nd of November, 2014. At Stephen King tweeted, More and more, I believe the secret to successful writing is blank. Type in your lies now. Okay, take a look and find the truth. Okay, what did everyone pick? <laughs> nice fibbing there. Coincidentally, his next five books are about tea brewed so strong, it can only be from hell. And that means... Time to pick a category.
Okay, here's the question. A Chinese reality show called Wonderful Friends received some backlash for a bizarre stunt in which they made elephants blank. Write your lies now. Hit the live for me button if you can't think of something. All right, where's the truth? Let's see what everybody selected. And that's it. Nobody else's lives got picked. Now it's round two, where all point values are doubled. And don't let that defibrillator sit unused. It disappears after round two. All right, pick a category. Okay, here's the question. An annual tradition of the Nakazuma Festival, sumo wrestlers compete to see who can be the first to blank. Input your lies now. if you can't think of anything. Okay, here you go. Find the truth. Alright, let's see what everybody picked. And nobody picked the other lies up there. Select the category. Okay, here's the question. A woman in Swindon, UK, was investigated by health officials because she was selling smoothies with blank in them. Enter your lies now. Hit the live for me 
button if you can't think of something. Okay, where's the truth? Who picked to watch? Anything to cover up the taste of kale. And that's it. All right, pick a category. Okay, here's the question. Convicted murderer Gene Hathborn, who was sent to death row in Texas, asked that his body be turned into blank after his death as part of a Danish artist's art project. Type in your lies now. Okay, here are your choices. Ah! All right, let's see what everybody picked. And that means some of these didn't get picked. This is the final fibbage. One question left for all the marbles, and everything is worth triple. Good luck. And now, your final fibbage question. The seemingly harmless item that playwright Tennessee Williams choked to death on in a Manhattan hotel suite. Input your lies now. Okay, which one's the truth? Okay, let's take a look. Ah! 
here's something you might be interested in. <laughs> and the rest of these lies didn't fool a soul.
Okay, I'm Schmitty, and we're going to play Quiplash. Okay, fair warning. I reserve the right to repurpose your quips for my improv set later on tonight. Remember, anybody can join the audience at any point during the game. Here's round one. You'll see two prompts on your device. Answer them any way you want. Each answer will go up against someone else's answer, and everyone will vote on which they like most. It's simple. You score based on the percentage of players who like your answer. Plus, there are winner's bonuses at stake. Go! Hit the safety quit button if you can't think of something. Great, let's see what we got here. Starting us off, a good sign your mechanic is ripping you off is that he says you need a new blank. Okay, choose your favorite. Next on the list, a terrible brand name for cat food. Okay, vote. Coming up next, a weird skill left-handers are better at. It's voting time! Next prompt! What the California raisins do for work now? And vote! Next up, a name that would always make a teacher laugh during roll call. Vote now. Moving on, the last sign we'll get before the apocalypse. Vote on your devices.
Next one, what it means when the flag is at three quarters staff. Put in your votes. Next in line, the one thing that never sells at costume shops is a mask of blank. Float away. Round one is behind us. Let's see how you scored. <laughs> Time for round two, where everything is worth two times as much as that silly round one. Lots running out. Think fast or use a safety clip. Cool, let's see what's what. Up first, what Sonic the Hedgehog would trade all of his gold rings for. Okay, use your device to pick your favorite. Up next, a sign you may be in a cult. Ready, set, vote! Next, what memory is this player suppressing? Get to voting! And next is the worst thing to blurt out when watching a movie sex scene with your parents. Time to vote.
Next on deck, what the S stands for in Ulysses S. Grant. Vote now. Your next prompt is a good way to get kicked out of a jazz band. Okay, vote. on, a good taunt to yell at the zoo elephants. And vote. And next, how can you tell that your toe is infected? Vote away. That's all for round two. Let's see where the points went. That's right, it's round three, the last lash. Look alive because you're all getting the same prompt this time. Come up with the phrase this acronym stands for. Let's see those quips. You get three medals to award to your top three quips. Give out your gold, silver, and bronze medals now. Great, let's see where those medals ended up. Bronze, show me the silver, and finally gold. Now let's turn those medals into points. It's over, let's see the final scores. Ha <laughs> <laughs>
Let's play Quiplash, shall we? I want you all on your best behavior. Do not make me turn this game around. This is round one. You'll score points based on the percentage of people who prefer your answer. Have at it. Okay, here we go. Number one on the list, the way to celebrate being honored as Zoo Employee of the Month. Okay, pick your favorite. Okay, next one. A great thing for a parent to say to scare their child's prom date. Vote on your devices. on deck, the only thing we have to fear is fear itself. Oh, and also blank. Ready, set, vote! up, a group that no tour bus driver ever wants to have assigned to their bus. Put in your votes.
Moving on. A frequently asked question on www.beats.com. It's voting time. Coming up next, the worst part about being under Dracula's thrall is that he's always making you blank. Get to voting! Something you might find in George W. Bush's living room. Time to vote. Next, an odd thing to discover upon arriving in heaven. Tuesday nights are blank night. Put in your votes. That's round one. Let's take a look at the scores. Wow. Now round two, where all points and bonuses are doubled. Oh, the drama. Running out. Use a safety quip if you need it. Wow. Okay, moment of truth. Starting things off, a procedure that not even the slimiest plastic surgeon will do. Okay, select your favorite quip. Next 
next in line, a bad excuse when trying to return a sports bra. Vote away. And next is your awesome new witness relocation program name. Ready, set, vote. Next on the list, George Washington's biggest complaint about having wooden teeth. Vote on your devices. Next, what a caveman says right after sex. And vote. And next, a bad excuse for being late to your own wedding. Sorry, I was blank. Vote now. Next prompt, why you're not allowed back at Jurassic Park. It's voting time. Your next prompt is the last place you want to see Willem Dafoe's face. Okay, vote. Round two's done. Let's see who's winning now. <laughs> this is round three, the last lash. Everyone's taking aim at the same prompt this time. Come up with the full name for this acronym.
Let's see what you've wrought. Present your medals now. Nice, let's see who snagged the medals. Bronze, silver, and now the gold. All right, let's turn that into cold hard points. That's the game, let's see the final scores.
嗯。This is Drawful. I've got to say, I'm pretty excited that there are eight of you playing. Let's do this. Okay, I'm sending a title to each of your devices. Something odd, like Sexy Owl or um, Mark Cuban. Draw a picture on your device that would have that title, and when you're done, hit Send. And you'll get points for each player that can correctly guess your title. So, good luck. got all your drawings, it's time for some fun. Um. Now, use your device to type in what you think the title for this picture could have been. Or better yet, something you think could trick the other players into thinking it's the title. You'll get points for every player that picks your answer. Choices. Now pick the title you think really inspired this drawing. 
And here are your picks. Okay, well, that was that. <laughs> Um. And this one. Type in a convincing title now. Okay, here are your choices. Hey! Um. All right, well, we're done with that now. Um. Enter your titles now. Here are your choices.
What did everybody pick? Some of these titles are pulled directly from my diary. Um. Next up. And here are your choices. Here's everybody's picks. <laughs> I'm just glad that we all got to share this moment. Um. Okay, our next drawing. Here are your choices.
Cha-ching! Are we done with this one? I think we're done with this one. Um. Enter anything that could almost make sense now. Okay, here are your choices. And here are your picks. We should make t-shirts out of some of these. Um. And now this. your choices. Hey! Pick something! What did everybody pick? Hey! And we are done with this one. Um. Let's take a look at our next piece of art. Hey! 
Or and here are your choices. Hey! Twenty two. Pick something. Here's everybody's picks. Hey! Total failure by everybody. Mm-hmm.